one thing too that I'm really hyped. Shout out to all you freaking well, you know, people we call them Wi Fi warriors, but you know, I'm sure that everyone here is a, a good human and they're using that Ethernet cable and a LAN adapter. So <laughs> <laughs> shout out to the LAN adapter warriors out there doing work like just jamming it right now i am excited to see a lot of those people transition from online to offline as a result to their play and seeing how strong they can be uh, there's so many people have been working behind the scenes and just been labbing this game in certain ways and for one reason or another haven't really come to offline tournaments so i would love to see that more man but this is awesome dude getting a ice climbers oh. and min min like yes please i think this i think min min is very very strong against ICs, man um there's so many great tools and added pressure that you can put there and just being able to jump around them. Um, even going for uh, like a uh, like command jump. Too, my gosh. Yo, Frozen, man. The Disney classic. Right. And of course, and that, now we got Ruri, you know, getting back. Definitely keeping his range at this point because you saw mm -hmm. what he gets in. That's really like the Ice Climber special. They're able to get in on you and they're both free to, to land their attacks. That's, that's like... Double damage. You got two characters yeah. at you. And of course, the desync happens. It's woo! Which almost. Yeah. That's, that's when the real damage comes out. Oh, no, absolutely. And so, interesting enough, um, I can't, I'm trying to read that name. Uh, a second. Like, the, I am intrigued that we haven't really seen. Oh, there it is. Okay. I was waiting for. I'm like, where? <laughs> I need to see that big medicine ball. Beautiful charge up smash there. It reaches so high. It's like. I was looking for that megaton, um, that megawatt to come through. Such a damaging aerial. So awesome that you have an aerial of that capacity, a, a nair that can actually kill. And that is very, very good, again, against a character like the IC. So at that kind of situation, you know, you want to get rid of Nana, that's where you go. And here it is. Now they're separated. And this is where Minmin excels really in this matchup. Even though it's a relatively new one, like theoretically, it just makes so much sense where this character can just pin them wrong. And this is where they're going to have trouble. Like, how are they going to deal with this? He's forcing himself. To, oh, my gosh. Beautiful down tilt, though. That's him right. Stage? Oh, that's a snipe. Yep. Get him with that ice. Give him the extra ice that he ordered. And mm -hmm. that mid mint's going to be on one less stock. But, yeah, like, we don't. There isn't exactly a character that can swing left and right uh, with their normals at the same time. So if you get the desync onto the ice climbers, you can, uh, you can attack the AI pretty easily. And just like yep. that, you can see the snipe with the uh, the fire yeah yeah beautiful catch there yeah that's that's just going to be the main thing right like being able to get them off stage or get them separated and just keep welting them and welting nana and it's just like there's very little she can do and because of the range like at any point in time you separate them there's a really easy catch i love the um going for the, the smash fair uh in the air get that laser and get that early kills it's such a good tool <clears throat> Okay, big up smashes from JP though. These ice climbers like to fight back, and when they're together, they're so scary. But yeah, but wow, he's, Ruler he's, just keeps swinging the one two. Yeah, no, exactly, man, exactly. I like it. You have to. Oh wait, wow, what? A, okay, <laughs> dare. Oh, this is a, this can be a kill. <gasps> oh my goodness, I'm so shocked that we didn't see a smash there. I thought we were gonna see a dash back forward smash. That really could have been game. And this is a fortunate situation now on the ledge, and that's gonna be stock. Yeah, mm -hmm. man, that is a rough one because I definitely feel in that circumstance you had the juggle situation right there for ruler. Really, really good setup. You had Nana falling down, unabated, and really, yeah, like I said, dash back. Ford smash, um, even uh, a dash back F tilt into a jump would have been so good to really get Nana off stage and then go into something. If not, just outright kill her with the F smash, like I said before. But um, fortunately, went for a grab, and that is really what allowed JP to kind of mount a defense and uh, get back on the offensive and take that stock mm -hmm. in the ledge play. So good stuff there by JP for recognizing that situation and taking advantage of it. Yeah, I'm just... I'm just so worried, like, especially with a character like Min Min, who's complete range, right? All kit, all range. Get away from me. Stay over there. Uh, but once JP gets in, like, it's, it's, like, the worst possible scenario for Ruler. Because not only do you have a great character who can uh, really put the numbers up very quickly with the, with the Ice Climbers, but if you get the desync, that should be just, honestly be a dead Min Min. 
Oh, you yeah, know, absolutely. I mean, the double trouble, right? Like that's <laughs> you you never want to have those two characters in. Like when they come knocking your door and, and sister comes through, like you already know you're cooked, right? So uh you the, the name of the game is going to be as always, play that range game, keep it separated and uh, move from there. A JP is always going to be able to try to get in. Um and even if he doesn't get an outright just a good amount of damage or kill, um, the great thing is on the Icy's level, like you saw JP do it um, a couple times where he got a down tilt. And once he got that down tilt, then things change because, like, literally just being able to go ahead and, like, snipe them at all, like, zone them out, like, hit them if they try to go low, if they go high, you know, jump out there, hit them with a bear, all those kind of things. Such strong tools because Min Min definitely, when it comes to recovery, has a very, very rough time. Her, um, like, she's just not going to be able to just come back as easily as some of the other characters, you know? Yeah, we even saw JP, like, utilizing the the icicle to, to snipe. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, absolutely. And so it's like, there you go. You see another down tilt trying to get off stage, you know, playing that game. It's really good stuff. Yeah, following and you know, up again, and here we yeah. go, off stage. Yeah. Oh, does it have a double jump? Oh, I don't think JP recognized. Yeah, but a good dash back from Ruler and it's going to give JP the one, two, putting Nana off stage with more lasers. I mean, look at this. Look at this. And that's free. Free damage. Free okay. damage. Easy laser. See, and that that's going to be the problem. Like, right? I, I think the best thing in that kind of scenario is going to be like to sit back and look. Like, once they get on ledge, sit back, F tilt. Use your safe pressure. Go from there. I love this from Ruler. Oh, the Ooh. up B kill. I like it. The snipe is so good. And that was like a real good mix up from Ruler because Nana mm -hmm. was also in position to like get hit with an aerial or like that that aerial smash attack. But instead, you see Ruler give him the mix up and go for go for the main ice climber instead. Yeah. Good up B trying to get away, but no, and it's not going to be enough. Good good catch there by Ruler recognizing that. Oh, it's our JP, rather, recognizing that Ruler wanted to get out. Oh, my gosh. Look at that damage, man. 58%. And that's the crazy thing about Ice Climbers. Like, even their just general combos without desync, like, up tilt into, like, up air, up air, or up air bears, like, already so much damage. Like, it's like a it's, that easy bake stuff for Ice Climbers, like, quote, unquote, easy bake stuff for Ice Climbers is already stuff that is some of those other characters like optimal thing at zero so you always have to be careful about this character to get oh man and that could be your life yes sir That's right and it is of course you see the up tilt into up air and getting again the one two from the brother sister combo mm -hmm. it's not where you want to be not at all damn man oh that's yeah. right okay with yeah. the follow-up no follow-up you're not gonna get anything okay now they're separated this is big this here it is okay good laser get him away Opportunity here. Yep, that is not going to make it. As an ice climber, what do you do in that position? Because you saw JP like try and square up against Ruler and say, you know what, I know you're going to be swinging at Nana. I need to protect her while, until she gets into a position where I can call her back. Yeah, I mean, you, you really can't do much out of it. Because even when you're defending, it's like they just go right by you and that laser is going to cover options like at homes. It's just very, very difficult because... No matter what, because Nana is going to be following you, she's just going to be running back and she just get popped right in the face, right? So it's really just like you weather the storm, you knock them away or something like that, and you that's the only thing you can do. Um, and okay. see, now we see the situation here again, but see, JP's close enough to where he could actually do something. Yeah, Nana protecting JP's back, getting that spin attack and putting Ruler yep. just enough away. Oh, 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 that's not worth, not worth. Yeah. Not worth at all. <laughs> Yeah. You grab the wrong twin. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that's rough. Good stuff there by JP. Recognize situations like, yeah, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Nan, Nana, chill for a bit. I got this. Yeah, Sit okay. down. Take it easy. Take a nap. <laughs> Go see what mom is doing. Day, it's, it's all about teamwork. You take the mm -hmm. hit, I'll get him. Mm -hmm. Teamwork makes the dream work. And that's going to put JP up 2-0 over Ruler. And especially, it's like, it's so interesting that JP's coming out on top of these games because, like, JP has his moments where he's definitely in control and he's putting the hurt on Ruler. But for a majority of the, the momentum goes to Ruler. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I feel that uh, JP is just defensively just been performing better. Um, I think there's some, <laughs> no pun intended, but there's some overextensions happening on Ruler's side. And uh, <laughs> JP's been able to capitalize off that, right? Um, and, you know, really kudos to him. Like, a lot of those key situations that come out, like, again, that throw right there goes for grab. It's funny because that's kind of what happened on game one as well. Ruler went for a grab that probably wasn't the most optimal in that situation and that's how jp was able to land and then end up getting a ruler off stage which ended up with a a ledge trap and then he read his uh roll on so i, I think that a, a couple times now we've seen ruler really go for the end game grab to his um yeah, you know, to his, uh, like, demise. yeah to demise absolutely so um that's one thing you had to be careful of, man. I think a lot of times he's like pinning him away and just playing the safe pressure with F tilt and, you know, F tilt uh, hop, um, you know, goes for F tilt left or wherever it may be and then like good. But I think he needs to kind of continue that pressure and not really let up. Sometimes he's going for these mix ups that are ill advised. But anyways, we're going to go into game three here, we're opting to go for Battlefield. Uh, it's interesting selection here. Yeah, a bit of a smaller stage compared to mm -hmm. Final Destination. Now we're going to have mm -hmm. that tri-platform formation as well, which I think both game one and two were on Final Destination, so we had no platforms. So we'll yeah. see how, how both of them uh, adapt to this new stage layout. Yeah. Oh, was that a down tilt there too? Oh, yep, 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 yep. Oh my gosh, yo. Extra I, ice on yeah, the house. That's a, yo, that's a snow cone, bro. <laughs> like, y'all get it. <laughs> my goodness. Hmm. Good stuff there by JP, making it happen. Okay, this is big. Okay, got the Nana with yeah. the beat. Yeah, got the Nana. Back again. Yeah, a very good stuff there by Ruler to make that happen. Of course, the Megawatt coming in. Being so strong, man. So yeah, almost the heavy duty. Taking the taking the first stock almost uncontested mm -hmm. after Nana dropped. Oh, Ooh. that's oh what? <laughs> Oh, man. You know, showing up the tricks, okay. Yeah. Showing the cards up your sleeves. I didn't know you could uh you could get away with that. Yeah. I mean, the thing is like Ruler wasn't there either, you know? Like Ruler's yeah. kinda just been setting stage, he thought he was gonna come back on. And so like Ruler hasn't really been pressuring JP interesting enough once JP usually grabs onto the ledge. And I feel like that's one of the stronger things about Min Min's game. Oh my gosh, it's down to you're dead. Yeah, nice really unfortunate for Ruler because he got hit with uh with some ice and then ended up putting him in a regrab situation. Yeah. Okay, see here we go. Start it up. Just there push. Go that. the charge. No charge. Okay, he's good. No charge. No mash. No need. Yeah, good stuff there by Ruler. Okay, here's the side B at the ledge. Ruler able to escape. Woo! That oh, down this corner is big, this underneath. Is big, this is big. Oh, we're gonna miss that. <laughs> and laser just being a little bit too slow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, I, I think that's a circumstance too where it's like you gotta prioritize Nana because you know get, that's gonna be a guaranteed hit, right? Versus like if you're sitting here at JP, JP can do some mix ups oh, and stuff. Uh oh, in the future. uh oh. Oh, D sinks. Oh, the down tilt. Oh, even getting wow. to the ledge bump. Big, big. Oh, not yeah, that yeah, that big up smash doesn't come into play as mm -hmm. JP's able to weave around it. And now another oh, big up smash. Charge. So, <laughs> this is actually a very min min mix up, right? Uh, I'm sure some of these people have seen this already, but. A lot of characters, they have these certain charge animations, and most people aren't akin to like what the charge animations are, and some of them look somewhat similar. Min Min's do look somewhat similar, and because you know Min Min is going to have the propensity to be throwing out those forward smashes and everything like that, like when you see it, you're like, oh, well, the op correct option is to jump over them, obviously, because you don't want to get <laughs> hit by a forward smash, and you want to get a punish. But of course, they could be charging up smash like you just saw there, and then you know, take your life, and that up smash has so much range. So good stuff Great. right there by Ruler. Um, finally uh, finds its mark. I know he's been trying that up a, a couple games beforehand, and uh, wasn't working out, but was able to make it happen there. So really good stuff. I'm excited to see what he's going to do now. Uh, JP really close to closing that out of 3-0. 
but again, all these games have been very close. So on JP's side, I'm wondering what he is thinking, what his mindset is going to be going to this, because we could see a swing if Ruler does make the appropriate changes. Honestly, I think it comes down to the stage select for, for JP. We saw Ruler and JP play two games where there was no platform. Uh, and both close games, but JP is able to clutch it out due to mm -hmm. like one unfortunate mistake from Ruler. However, we saw we get some platforms and we see a little bit more sharking for Nana. Mm -hmm. Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. Yeah. Let's see. I mean, but this is a very small stage. I mean, this means like you get a couple hits here and you're off stage. As you see right now, let's see the charges. The yeah. charge? Wait, yeah. yep. Charge? Keep hitting the wheels. Just keep give him the spins. Yep, gone. Ooh. See, that's there we go. That so that's something that we haven't seen ruler really do all too successfully. Right? Um, that kind of transition immediately from getting him off stage and just setting up those charges, especially for the recovery that's gonna come in uh from the ice climbers. And now this is big because now you're having already another separation. I'm not gonna be able to snipe Min Min there. Oh, Goes for down to instead. Yeah, this is gonna be kind of rough. I was eager to see what JP's response is because now you give him stage again. Oh, you're seeing a challenge finally from Ruler. Yeah, he's doing those those aerial attacks now. Mm -hmm. Getting a little bit more distance between himself, but even extending with the laser, putting the yeah. main ice climber off stage. Good dash attack, one of the best dash attacks in the Ooh. game, and the laser. Yeah, that is so, so good. It is so freaking good, dude. That is one of the... Oh, there? I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, oh, you're going there, and of course, yeah. it's air time. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're done, you're yeah. done, you're done, you're done, you're done, you're done. Three Damn. stock. Three, Three stock. stock, man. I, I, I'm saying, honestly, I feel like this matchup is very very rough for ice climbers once they get a hit because i feel like that's how that should look you get out you have nana there and nana literally just gets hit for free like what does she, you can't really do anything about that as popo you really can't contest that because you have to deal with the blows like coming at you as well and then you have the like you know safe jump coming out of these f tilts right whether it's a general jumps coming out of the f tilts uh sort of the safety it's like these are plus, man. On shield, they're plus with jump, right? And so that's crazy. You, it's yeah, it's insane from that range. So you're not punishing that. And so if they're doing that and they're mixing it up with their fares and their smash f, uh, their aerial um, f smashes and stuff too, it becomes very, very difficult. And once you're off stage, especially at certain angles, it's like you're forced to air dodge. And uh, a lot of times, if you air dodge those situations too, it's like they just run it back with the extra arm. And then you just hit Nana, and Nana's cooked, and you're done. Yep. That's right? the trap, and that's that's honestly like the downfall of Ice Climbers. You're relying mm -hmm. on your partner. If your partner's not there, GG. Yeah. No, for sure. I mean, and like I said, once you're off stage, even with your partner there, like, dude, like, aerial, aerial forward smash laser is so good. It, like, fast falling it down is so good. It covers so many options. And it's like, oh, I land with it, and I didn't hit you? Well, guess what? You air dodged, and you're in a terrible situation, and I'm definitely going to recover in time to pelt you again off stage. So what are you really going to do about that, right? <laughs> Unless you can get low very quickly and cover yourself. If you get hit, like, upwards, right, then it's a rough thing. Like, I, I think that's one of the things JP may have to be looking at, trying to recover low, trying to uh, make sure that when he does get hit off stage, could DI it lower so he can be in a position where he can get down. But then again... If they space themselves right, they can two frame me and stuff as well. So it's all around a very difficult matchup, I believe, for Ice Climbers. Yeah, but now we're seeing a stage select that I I, I definitely agree with this one because uh, really, like, the three... These long, flat stages is really what JP wants to, to utilize against Min Min. And, uh, of course, we already saw success on Final Destiny. Oh, beautiful down smash, and... <gasps> yeah, but he's able to escape, sacrifice yeah, the partner, yeah, but, you know, yeah, JP's yeah. still alive. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Okay, starting it up. Good bear, I like that. See bear, oh my gosh, almost a snipe. 
Wow, JP actually putting a good amount of damage onto Ruler, but falling with that Nair. Yeah. Oh, the heavy go Nair, too. Nair. Yep, yep. Echo go heavy. Big boys. Ooh, don't, don't pass on to that. Oh, yeah, that could be oh. a life. Able to escape death from that desync situation, but wow. not out of it just yet. Where oh, are no. you running? Where are you running? Oh, this could be your life. This is actually could be your life. Man yep. is desync. Yep, She's yep, gone. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, that sucks. That you know that was the same situation that happened before too, where he tried <laughs> it, like rule tried to go for the dare and then he like misplaces it, but then he just goes for another dare and he hits him offside the stage and just edge guards him. And this might this might end up being another three sock man. Yes, this I might I, end up. I I believe in JP. He, he ain't. He got Carlos. He got a flat stage. He ain't gonna go out with the with okay. three stock. Yep, the classic roll. Um, we've seen that a couple times already from Ruler uh, on his as far as his ledge defense. So uh, JP recognize that we'll make something happen. Yeah, Ruler. I mean JP has to just stay in. He has to find a way to stay in and just never let go. Uh, he's been really good at pressuring a uh, ruler on the ledge. Ruler just seems to like kind of be lacking defense there. Again, goes for another roll onto the stage. It seems like it's really the staple for him. Uh, JP's not going to punish it this time around, though. Mm -hmm. Getting the last hit of the side B and putting ruler off stage once again. Here we go with those delayed icicles. They can, yeah. they can uh, mean bad news for ruler. Yeah, he just thought he was going to see a roll again. This time he just goes for jump. Oh. And so this, uh, I'll be honest, this is kind of why I was concerned for JP about this stage selection. Um, I know it's a longer stage, so that part's good about it. But the poor thing is, one of the strongest things about JP versus Ruler was his ledge trapping game. Uh, you could see that Ruler is not really good defensively in, the, in terms of on the ledge, but it just didn't matter. Like when wow. you have that extra platform and Ruler is going to go with a beautiful aerial forward smash laser snipe him and that 